When building applications, you'll often have to show or hide HTML elements based on a certain condition. Vue provides us with four directives to make it easy to conditionally render elements. Conditional rendering directives accept JavaScript expressions that return true or false as their value. Vue will then render or not render the element based on the output of the evaluation. The VIF directive is attached to an element in the template that we want to render conditionally. It works similar to a regular JavaScript if statement where it evaluates a truthy condition. If the condition proves true, the element will be rendered. As an example, we'll check if a number data property is zero and only render a paragraph element if it is. Because the condition proves true, the paragraph element will show in the browser. If we change num to anything else, the expression becomes false and the paragraph doesn't render. It's important to note what happens to the element when the expression returns false. Vue doesn't just hide it, it completely removes the code from the HTML. If we inspect the element in the dev tools, the paragraph's markup is completely gone. Vue adds a comment where the paragraph will be injected if the directive evaluates to true. Any additional evaluations that the VF doesn't cover is expressed in the VLSIF ladder. The VLSIF directive can't stand on its own and must directly follow a VF in a separate element. To demonstrate, let's add two checks to our example to determine whether the number is positive or negative. You can try experimenting with different positive and negative values to see which of the paragraphs render. As mentioned before, elements with conditional directives must directly follow each other for them to be considered as a connected block. To demonstrate, let's add a paragraph between the VF and VLSIF conditionals in our example. We won't be able to save the file because Vue will raise an error. The error tells us that the underlined VLSIF doesn't have an adjacent VF. If we remove the paragraph, the file will save and work correctly in the browser. The VLS directive is a catch-all fallback for any expressions that aren't covered by VF or VLSIF. It doesn't have a value and can't stand on its own. It must follow a VF directive or a VLSIF ladder. To demonstrate, let's add a check to our example to see if the number is actually a number. We don't have to do a data type check, we can just use the VLS to catch anything that's not a number. If we save and take a look in the browser, the VLS paragraph is rendered. Sometimes, we'll need to display multiple elements from the result of one condition. But, conditional directives only cover the element that they're attached to. As an example, let's say we want to display a heading and a paragraph when a Boolean data property is true. We'll have to add a VF to both the elements. This works fine and is a valid approach, but it's not very efficient. We're repeating the same code more than once, which makes the application harder to test and debug. One solution could be to wrap both elements in a div tag and attach the VF to it instead of the heading and paragraph. This approach is also valid, but it does create a few new problems. It adds unnecessary code, increases the DOM depth, and it might break our styling. So, Vue allows us to use the template tag that defines the template block as a wrapper for other elements. Vue never renders the template tag, it's only used to group elements. To demonstrate, let's change our wrapper div to a template tag. Now, we have the best of both worlds. We can conditionally render multiple elements without worrying about breaking the style or adding unnecessary depth to the DOM. To confirm that the template tag isn't rendered, we can inspect the elements in the browser's developer tools. In the next video, We'll learn how to render elements in a loop. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.